فيكم بحلقه جديده من كات هوك البرنامج اليومي اللي بينقلكم وبالتعاون مع فاشن تي في اهم وابرز الاحداث اللي عم بتصير بمجال الموضه ورح ننطلق على جوله على الشعر والميك اب اللي اعتمدوا بالرنوي الخاص بالمصمم مانش ارورا ببريز وبالمختصر المفيد الاوفرول لوك كان مزيج بين 1920s لوك واجواء الكلوبينج يعني كلاسيكال مع مودرن تويست <تصفيق> Hi Fashion TV, my name is James Petchus and we're having fun backstage. The look today is about 20s meets nightclub kind of raver style. So there's a hint of 20s in it, you'll see it in the collection. Um, And I wanted to bring that into the hair by doing maybe like short crops that were very uh, rebellious and uh, energetic of the 20s. But then we take it a little bit further with hair that's def that's been almost caught in motion as if the wind has picked it up and it's frozen in time. <laughs> Fashion TV, my name's Kabuki. The inspiration for the makeup on Manish Aurora so, sort of came from the Roaring Twenties. So, um, and I did an accessory for the face, and then the makeup is quite minimal, but still makes a statement. It's almost like an illustration from the Twenties. And I wanted the feeling to be a bit like Josephine Baker or Amelia Earhart, or a little bit like those women that would dance on the wings of an airplane. So it's a very fun, energetic, look. It's quite clean but it's also got a lot of bright colors and a stylization to it. نبقى مع المزيد من سبرينغ سمر ترندز من الباريس فاشن ويك والليبل وندر كايند وتصاميم مزجت بين الويسترن والمودرن ستايلز وبلمسه الديزاينر وولف جانج جوب اللي بيقول انه الكوليكشن هي تطوير للستايل اللي بلش فيه من سنوات عديده وتاثر بهالتصاميم بالذات برسومات الفاشن الستريتر انطونيو لوبيز اللي ارتبط اسمه بمصممين عريضه ازياء ونجمات مثل الموديل جاري هول الممثله جيسيكا لانج المصمم كارل لاجرفيلد والمصمم تشارلز جيمس بالاضافه للمغنيه Grace Jones. Woke up in the morning about a half past nine. Hops in the boogies, always standing in line. Jans in the family standing all around her. Take her little city to a bearing ground. Hello, Fashion TV. I'm Wolfgang Jorup for Wunderkind. And I begin to think about the beat I've done. I grab my hat and away I run. It's, um, a question which comes back and back again, but now I really have the answer. It's not coming like a dog and you whistle and the inspiration is there. It's an um, evolution kind of, you know, uh, slowly you feel um, an irritation and you don't know if you should follow or not, but then when I came here and all the pieces came together and the girls, I said, oh, that's you, okay, ha, huh. yeah, that's what I meant, that's what I feel. He says, young man, ain't chillin' brat Remember that night, shot Sadie down 
there is a book coming out of Tony Viramontes, you know, as a follower of Antonio Lopez, who lived in Paris and died in Paris in the 80s. He, in a very nervous fashion, motivation, he did sketches of the models. He discovered models and he painted them and he sketched them. And that's all of a sudden I recall. Makeup is like an homage to Tori Nevira Montas and uh, all the dresses which are washed out a little bit and used or embroidered or whatever combined with um, sports for t-shirt from basketball um, like I was recalling basketball diaries you know and then it was all like going over the boundaries, finding your personal freedom. We discussed so many times all the social in insecurity, and I want to show something which is really insecure, which is, uh, yeah, in a way, young and free and, and out of limits. بعد ما شفنا بحلقات سابقه تصاميم سوموديتش ساتو لربيع وصيف 2014 ندخل هلا الباك ستيج لنعمل جوله على التحضيرات اللي سبقت الرنوي Fashion TV. Uh, my name is Kakuya Suchide, International Artist Director of Shuemura. Uh, looking at her collection this time, uh, I felt something mixture of Asian cultures. Uh, I've got inspiration from uh, chi op Chinese opera makeup, so but I don't I don't want to express you know that that spectacular spectacular makeup. Um, there's you know has to soften you know, <laughs> soften that uh, that images. And a focal point is the eyes. Uh, I use orange and pink, uh, which is a key shade uh, from uh, her collection. And uh, also lips. Uh, I'm going to put on. Um, so this is our new season's products, new, new products. And a bright orange. Just put on the middle part of the lips, so which is to enhance the Asian mood and Asian uh, typical Asian makeup, you know, and a uh, base makeup, uh, base makeup uh, giving um, uh, defined uh, growing, you know. Uh, I think this is one of uh, key trend uh, for spring and summer season.
لحظات وبنرجع لمتابعة حلقة اليوم من كات ووك وبترككم لدقايق قليلة مع البست فينال من الميلان فاشن ويك خليكن معنا <تصفيق> بيبدا مع الالبسه الرجاليه واخر الابتكارات لخريف وشتاء 2014 2015 من اللوجري براند للمنز وير كانالي واللي انعرضت مؤخرا باسبوع الموضه بميلانو وجمعت الكلاسيكال والكاجوال من ناحيه السويترز الالبسه المخمليه الاوفر سايز كوتس واللوجري نيت وير والشاليت الفخمه والانيقه
معنا ونتابع جولة جديدة على البست فاشن شو فينال وأنا برجع بشوفكن بالقسم الثالث مع الموديل كارمن فيدارو والمصممة العراقية ريم الأسدي خليكن معنا <تصفيق> جديدة بكات ووك وبنبدا القسم الثالث من كات ووك مع فقرة موديل ستوكس والعارضة الاستونية كارمن فيدارو اللي برزت بالرانويز لخليف وشتيل 2013 2014 مع دي سكويرد والكتار من التوب لوكجري براندز
are the first phase from this show. How do you feel and why is it important to be the first phase? I feel great. It's, I mean, it's always exciting to open a show and, um, and yeah, it's great. <laughs> I think it's really important to be the last look or the first look, especially, you know, the, also the feeling when you come out, I think that's, the, that's how the designer wants the, all the girls to be and, you know, that's, you know, that's the inspiration, sort of, so it's great. It's always, you know, being super girly, sort of really womanly, super, you know, the makeup is always pretty and you feel, you feel beautiful and you feel great in the clothes as well. Because a lot of shows, you know, you're, you're more masculine, so here you can actually feel like a girl, like a woman. Both of them really, you know, they're completely different. Um, in shows, you know, you're running to show to show, so they really speak with people much. And but in photo shoots, you enjoy the company of you know makeup artist, designer, and it's, it's, I, I enjoy both of them. Well, the last Gucci campaign I really liked, it was really beautiful with Anya. Um, what else? A long time, a couple of seasons ago I did Bottega Veneta as well. It was, I really liked it, it was by the Miami, by the, by the sea, it was beautiful as well. <laughs> yeah, Michael Kors as well, yeah. I loved Michael Kors people, <laughs> great. Uh, exclusivity is um, when the designer just books you and don't want you to do any other show. So you're just exclusive for just this one brand. I say just be strong and you know it's hard because you don't see your family much and friends but it's it's a short career and I think it's worth it so just you know enjoy it and enjoy every part of it. Fashion TV and enjoy the show. The male models come in and they are in catwalks. And from time to time, we are going to meet some of them. And today, we are going to meet the model of Nimse and Philip Bierbaum and the model of Poland, Tomek Shukeki, who are going to be on the runway for the next few weeks in Milan.
I don't know. صار وقت نفلت الضوء على المصممه العراقيه البريطانيه ريم الاسدي واللي صار عندها جمهور واسع والكثار من الفولورز اللي بتابعوا تصاميمها عن قرب بلندن وطوكيو ريم الاسدي معروفه باختيارها للاسواق الشعبيه او الفلي ماركت لعرض ابتكاراتها وهي من المصممين القليل اللي فينا نشوف ابتكاراتهم بسوق بورتوبيلو الشعبي بلندن ومن المعروف عنا أنا بتصمم الازياء بواسطه اقمشه قديمه بتعيد تدويرها وبتركز على الاقمشه الانتيك جولتنا التاليه بتخبرنا وبتعرفنا اكثر على ريم الاسدي Romantic and avant-garde collection. Customizing the antiques and vintage items from all over the world to create the unique appearance of radical world. Scraps, stunning. Perfect. Collected items through voyage around various countries takes part in original remake to build up the one-of-a-kind clothes, inspiring people intensively, getting attention from the world. Focus on Reem. London, Portobello. This is the biggest antique market in the world, Portobello Market. Reem Alasadi, the designer, has been opening the shop on every weekend for 15 years, and she became a queen of Portobello. She expanded the range of her activity to La Fore Harajuku in Tokyo. She opened up the pop-up store at the entrance every year in November. Having a Portobello-style tent in the middle of Harajuku. The tent suddenly appeared in the middle of Harajuku. Seems like a market from exotic country. I wanted the same sort of thing that we have in Portobello here in Tokyo. So then we started the um, selling vintage, mainly vintage and small remaking at um, the entrance of La Forêt. Reem has been presenting collections in Japan since 2005. Its perfect style is destructively beautiful, that captivates people's heart instantly. And also for the season, she introduced the 2013 Spring Summer Collection in front of the pop-up store. The title of this year's is Daddy Take Me to the Circus. It's actually looking at the circus from a little girl's eyes. So how scary it could be for her rather than the colourful. But of course we mix the colours and I love punk and edgy and leather so that all comes into it as well. We mix, mix it all up. Reem sticks to handmade products. Let's see how she creates. Sometimes we have like these pieces were used we made some knitwear and this is the scraps from the knit. Sometimes I buy pieces like that which are original vintage pieces and these are all being sort of over dyed to give it that one tonal colour. They all make sense to us, they're all filed away quite nicely. You know? And these I usually buy in antique fairs. Um, sort of I hunt especially for pieces like that so then the we can work to create dresses cardigans sometimes I come and say oh we haven't used this sort of thing in ages what can we 
make out of it. And sometimes we have pieces like this for years before we actually use it. But I always buy and keep it. Cloth and clothes actually come from everywhere. They could be from abroad, Eastern Europe, Western Europe, you know, sometimes from Japan if I'm here, I'm always looking. Of course everybody thought you're crazy, you can't just pack your things from the UK and bring them to Tokyo. I wanted to start the, a brand, I wanted to do it myself rather than give a lot of inspiration to others, which of course I'm really honoured that they, you know, I was able to do that and they were happy to buy from me inspiration. However, I wanted to do it myself because I think it will just fray away, wouldn't it? That is much longer. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Trashing it even more. We're making these t-shirts with leather. She has full knowledge of vintage history and blows new life into wasted materials to reconstruct it. With some jersey. She creates pieces instinctively along with her Victorian taste. It would be good to sort of just dye, over dye everything. It's a much more enjoyable way of working as well, I believe. <laughs> it can be, but then you see the end product, so then you're pleased with the end product. There's a lot of working with the hand. There's no drawings or, you know, it's really, really creative. <laughs> In the basically, she's like um, respect for designer, so. Yeah, first I said I tried to make something what I like and then after that we discussed with Lean and yeah, that's why it's like it's not that much difficult things, yeah. I find it more creative. I think some of the styles that we make, it will be impossible to think of something like that. We love, we can never get things like that in the UK. Fantastic acrylic paint in a pen. Handwritten letters on leather jacket. And the antique knitting machine. Wool fringing we used a lot in the collection. Probably would be a cardigan. I'll just make like a few long pieces and then I'm going to drape on the stand with it. This brand came about after in 2000 when I came on holiday in Tokyo and realized there was no one selling what we sell. My stall in Portobello was very conceptional. The main customers were designers and stylists. Then it was really nice to sort of be here unknown being on the street for me is, is exactly where I need to be, hence why we're still on the street. People come through, you know, if, even if they're passing by and not really wanting to do any shopping, they stop and then they might discover something that they like. So yeah, I, li I like to do that. I don't like to sort of um, limit my things to a certain type of person. The mixture of various materials from different backgrounds. She loves traveling and she loves being on the streets. Her creative method and original style comes from there. Attractive fans of Reem is still increasing. I actually do it for anyone else. I just do it for me. If I love it, I will do it. I'm lucky enough that other people like it. Customers and fashion people also. We are looking to opening our first stores. Whichever comes first, basically, the UK or Tokyo. That is, that's the next goal. We've been here now 
coming up to 10 years, I think this will be the next um, step for us to start opening up our own stores. Um, but still being on the street, I still like to be on the street. Her passion took her to where she is now from the time she opened her small shop in London. You know, I like to move around. It's my lifestyle, actually. We were right, right? Yeah. بريك وبنرجع بالاسم الاخير من كاتوك مع فقره لايف ان ستايل اند كو بشوفكم بعد دقائق قليله وصلنا للاسم الاخير من كاتوك وما موضوع جديد رح نطرحه ضمن نصايح البلوج الخاص فيي واللي معروف بلايف ان ستايل اند كو دوت كوم حاضرين لنشوف شو هي التيب لليوم عظيم شوفوا شو حضرت لكم مين منا ما بيحب يهتم ببشرته تضل مرتبه مضويه ومشدوده نصيحتي لليوم بسيطه وسهله جدا الرمانه هالفكره اللي يمكن قليل منا بيستخدمها بحياتنا اليوميه هي مسؤوله عن عده عوامل لبشرتنا غير انه الرمان هو من الفواكه المليئه بالانتي اوكسيدنتس فهي كمان مصدر مهم للفيتامين سكي اند سي للبوتاسيوم للكوبر للزنك وللحديد واكثر من هيك الرمان بيساعد الجلد على الكولاجين برودكشن وبالتالي على التخفيف من حركه التجاعيد بالجلد حلقة اليوم من كات هوك انتهت ملتقينا بكرة بحلقة جديدة مليئة بالديزاينز والمعلومات اللي بتنطروها كل يوم وأنا بدوري ناترا كل صوركن على انستغرام مع كرياتيف لوكس أبلود يور فوتوز مع هاشتاج سيلفي كات هوك ات ال بي سي تي في ممكن تكونوا ضمن اللوك اوف ذا ويك بحلقة نهار الجمعة من كات هوك باي باي